Welcome to Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, this is... Okay, obviously it's a Total War game. I haven't played a Total War campaign since probably like the original Rome. So I've played like Shogun, Medieval, and then Rome, the first three games they ever made. And then I, I stopped for a while after that. Uh, now I have like Warhammer, waiting on a sale for Warhammer 2, but then there's that. And Shogun 2, but again, I haven't really got into the long play of it so I'm really I'm almost like a new player to the campaigns here um, most of the time I just you know boot up a, a battle like a customer historical battle and I just mess around experimenting with units but I'm gonna jump right in because I I do love the three kingdoms uh, era of Chinese history I think that's really cool I grew up on some of the well not grew up but I played some of the dynasty warriors I think six eight and nine a little bit and romance of the three kingdoms are just a tad so I know some of the names, <laughs> at least I'm not I'm not great at the history. But so before I start, though, uh, let me go over a couple of the audio or the options I have set up. Uh, as far as audio, you know, I turned on subtitles. I did turn on Chinese text for diplomacy and uh, you know the battles, like the generals and all that. I just turned it, I left English on for the advisor, so it'd make it a little more authentic. Uh, what else? Graphics-wise, I'm using records mode for post effects. Um, everything else is pretty much ultra. I don't think there's anything else to say. So, let's go ahead and start a new campaign. Now, not only am I new to Total War, basically, um, I'm not great at strategy games. So if if there's a few people viewing this and you see some some really obvious stuff that I'm either missing or doing completely stupid, just let me know, and I'll uh, I'll do my best to adjust and learn. So what do we have here? We have the coalition faction leaders. Of course, there's Hao Hao, Liu Bei, Sun Jian, Gong uh, Gong Sun Tan, and Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. So so I'm not going to do somebody that's very hard. I also don't really want to do Tata because I don't like the dude. <laughs> I mean, you know, in Romance Mode, or Romance of the Three Kingdoms, he's always portrayed as the villain. And in real life, he did some pretty horrible atro uh, atrocities. Not that these guys may have as well, but read up on the dude if you don't know. So, okay, let's see. Governors-wise, these are all hard, but... Hmm... Scholar, gentleman, protector of the West. Got some outlaws, hard and very hard. I don't know as like where these guys are on the map territorial. Oh, and of course the yellow turbans. You know, I'm almost tempted to do a campaign as one of these guys, but simply because they're all at least hard, I'm not going to do that. So, made a decision. I'm going to stick with Liu Bei, the virtuous idealist. I know he doesn't come out on top in the end. I mean, technically, no one really does. But I think he's... Uh, I mean, he, he should have, like, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei in his army. So I'm looking forward to checking those dudes out. So what do we have? Okay. sees chaos in the face of Dong Zhuo. And will not rest until the tyrant's corruption is uprooted and the Han Dynasty restored. Hmm. Okay. So he is part of the, the Han. So he wants to uh, re reunite China under the Han dynasty. He's humble, virtuous, and kind. Those are all good qualities to have in a leader. An inspiring presence. So let's look at his details. There are... Well, let's see. He's a commander. He excels at inspiring friendly troops, but weaker in melee. Okay, I'll try to keep him out of duels then. If that's even a thing in records mode, because that's what I want to do. Uh, plus four to public order. That sounds like a good thing. People like him, so... And minus 50% upkeep for militia infantry. That's pretty cool, too. What's his specialization here? Unity. Uh, increases prestige. Some of these, again, I don't know what they mean, but... Unity increases if generals are satisfied. Unlocks administrator positions, increases income. Playstyle focus, companionship. What does that mean? I guess we'll find out. Unique features, E archers. Um, bad defenses versus cavalry, of course. Archers usually are. And E marksmen. 
Awesome. Highly trained archers. That sounds amazing. Shuhan tax collection, huh? Plus peasantry income, but minus public order. Of course, no one likes taxes. And can confederate other factions from the start of a campaign. I don't even know what that means. Mm, integrate. Annexes and integrates Han Empire settlements. And of course, like I said, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are well, some of his generals. So it looks like we're starting all the way up in the northeast here. That's his territory uh, during the year 190 AD. And who are these enemies to be aware of, maybe? Huang Xiao, Yuan Xiao, and of course Dong Zhuo. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Now, options-wise, let's see. No realism, because I want to be able to pause. Pausing is very important when you have a wife and kids. <laughs> uh, campaign difficulty level. Uh, I should keep it on easy, but I'll turn it up to normal for both of these. Um, advisor help. I Hopefully you guys don't mind. I am going to leave that on high. I don't really know what this means, so I'll just leave it at limited and keep the cloud saves on. So, battle time limit. I really don't like time limits in games. So I think I'm going to turn this to no limit. Yeah, looks good. Okay. And as far as romance versus records. So I posted a survey online. Like, you know, who's going to play romance the most? Who's going to play records the most? Who's going to do multiplayer or whatever? And 80, I think it was like 85% basically said romance. So that is definitely the popular option. However, um... I do want to get to this eventually, someday, but I want to start out with records mode because I'm just a little bit more attracted by the, you know, historical realism settings. I like that type of gameplay, so hopefully, hopefully you're all still interested. But let's get it started, and uh, as far as past experience with this specific game, I only started a campaign in, like uh, earlier today for like... 10 minutes just to see what the, the beginning looked like, just the first battle and all that. So there, there will be a lot of learning as we go along, so please bear with me. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites, as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. No more eunuchs. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet the light of the dynasty still simmers in the hearts of its last descendants. Liu Bei swore an oath with his brothers. They pledged their lives. Kind of, sort of. They will defend the Han. Nobody else can. <laughs> China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. I guess I'll let her finish. Yet despite the victory, the chaos only grew. With the corruption at the very heart of the Empire, the loyal general stormed the Imperial Palace and killed the Ten Eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the Emperor. Hmm. With the great warrior Lu Bu at his side, None dared oppose him. Guy's crazy. In response to Dong Zhuo's brazen display, treason some call it, a coalition of warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an. Raising the old capital Luo Yang to the ground as he fled. Well, that wasn't very nice. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides 
have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift, and China hangs in the balance. Indeed. All right, so that saves me the trouble of going over the history. <laughs> what do we have here? Building is on fire. That doesn't look like a good start. Luoyang lies in ruin, my lord. Luoyang is the capital, right? Like the emperor's place. Indeed. Dong Zhuo has fled west to Chang'an with the young Emperor Xian, his captive. Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, that's actually his nephew. <laughs> delays and waste time. You are poised, ready to strike now. Okay. Your sworn brothers are ready to fight. Their oaths were bound long ago. Dong Zhuo's treason must face justice. We are arrows on the wind, my lord. We fly wherever you command. This is exciting. Looks like I might have to do a yellow turban uh, battle at first. Okay. First mission, I'm assuming, is pretty much the same across the, the factions. Establish your power. Lord Liu Bei, Dong Zhuo has seized the emperor and wields power, etc. The Han Dynasty must be saved. Defeat the nearby Yellow Turban insurgents, then find a place to build our strength. Nearby, Tao Tian and Kong Rong are Han loyalists who may offer us aid. Okay, so objectives. Make your way past the Yellow Turbans. You mean just like sneaky sneak past them or fight them? Find a... P what just happened to the sun? <laughs> find a power base to build up your strength. Not sure what that means. And protect Kong Rong and Tao Tian. Okay. Too many notifications here. What does this Our say? Oh, of course. Wind, my lord. We fly wherever you command. Liu Bei and his brothers face the Yellow Turban Scourge. Of course, defend it. First priority, deal with them. Engage the following generous army in battle. Zhao Bo. Okay. He's got quite an army compared to... Uh... So I started... Uh, just a real quick, like I said, a Tasa campaign. Well, I didn't say who I started with, but the point is, he only had to fight against a very small army, like half the size, if that. And, so, although, we have a lot more here, so. Okay, this should be fun. Reward, taste of victory. This last three turns gives us plus three military supplies and plus five morale. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore everything else here for now. I know these are like notifications and stuff, and management icons in general. I don't know what these are yet. Characters, armies, etc. Okay, info panels. Um, let me get a sense of where I'm at. In fact, what does tab do? Nothing. I was hoping it zoomed out. Okay. So yeah, like the map showed us originally, we are in the northeast, way up here. All right, let's get this over with then. Um, can't look down. That's too bad. All right, select Liu Bei. He has Zhang Fei and Guan Yu in his. What are these called? Retinues. Stance normal. Cost soldier count. That's a lot of soldiers. What's this? Military supplies? I'll, again, I'll look these into more detail afterwards. Alright, let's do this. What does he have again? General Zhao Bo. He has two units of peasant archers, two units of peasant warriors, and two units of peasant spearmen. Sounds about right. I do not know this army. Fair enough. Okay, now, obviously, we have an advantage. Battle of Dong, Iron Mine. 1393 versus 760. I do want to do this battle. What's this? 
Oh, it'll be destroyed if it loses. Okay, that's fair. Wonder why. They just have nowhere to run or something? Alright, let's do this. Oath of the Peach Garden. Zhongyuan, Lian Nian Bing Huo, Bao Zheng Heng Xing, Sheng Ling Tu Tan, Bei Tong Che Xin Fei, Bei Bu Zi Sheng. Hey, I am all about restoring the Han Dynasty. Okay. Let's see. Got a lot to play with Take here. Time to consider your troops' deployment before ordering them to rush into combat. Mm hmm. Three units of archers. Actually, hold on. Who do I have? These are shared across. And oh, that's kind of confusing. Like, I see these and I think, oh, this is like a group of guys, but no. <laughs> Not quite. Let's see. Shortcuts. Military, or, yeah. Melee, missile troops, cavalry. That's all we got. Hmm. It looks like it's mostly halberd infantry. That's interesting. Got a couple saber militia. Okay, saber cavalry. Got our champions back here. Oh, well, not champions, our generals. One commander, one vanguard, and one champion. That's a quite a trio. Units. Okay. Now. Plan your strategy yes. for the upcoming battle. Examine your army composition, terrain, and weather conditions for the best advantage. Okay. I think I'll have all my guys just hide behind this tree. <laughs> they'll never they'll never see it coming. Alright, I know that. I can close her. I think I like the the uh in battle ugh. is achieved by routing or yeah. destroying all enemies. Okay, I do know that as well. Again, I'm appreciative of tutorials, that's why I have her on. But all right. Actually, let me move these guys back a little bit. Let me s scoot them back. Scoot them back. And oops. Um. Hmm. That didn't work. A little sensitive. Bear with me. There. Now, if I if I stretch them out like this, that's more to my liking. Now, my question is, let me move these guys up a little bit. If I, if I move these guys, do they stay in that exact position? Hmm, it looks like they actually might. Kind of. I mean, it's good enough. May not be exact, but... Okay. Let's go over a little bit. Now, I am the attacking one. So they technically don't have to move, but they probably will. Look at this measly little army. What do they have? Oh, I know what they have. Plus this dude. What's, what's he? Veteran? Okay. I don't know what that icon stands for. Okay, let's do this. Um, sure, let's go for it. Your generals have unique talents that can turn the tide. Oh, they're moving. Okay. They encourage nearby troops by their very presence. Okay. Withdraw? No thanks. Alright. Everybody move, get ready for a battle. You know, I might have moved up a little too far. Let's see. Okay, let the archers begin. They can fire at whoever they want. I got the cavalry here. I don't want to charge spearmen with... Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, so... Don't charge spearmen with cavalry. Tell you what, let's go ahead and use these guys to attack them. Um, winning one battle is do not this. the same as winning the war. You may need to consider and, the aftermath by conserving units okay. and minimizing damage to the settlement during the battle. Not sure what to do with these yet. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Charge the general with everybody, I guess. 
She has a good point. The cavalry's running down the archers. Look at them skirmish. Go, go, go. Very nice. That should route them. Yep, there they go. Almost. Um, up here, our archers are not sure what to do. It looks like everyone's about to route, though. So, I could just take every. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> as commander of your forces. I want to see these guys get mowed down by some arrows first. Nice. Sorry. A little bit sadistic here. Gotta take time to enjoy the scenery. I just saw a body go flying. Yeah, that they're not gonna last. Okay, I think it's safe to claim victory from here. We don't need to be too crazy. Look at look at these piles of bodies. All theirs, I think, pretty much. I don't actually know how much I lost. Probably not much. Is that a flag just sticking out of the ground? Yep. A soldier put it down. He was like, you know what? I'm tired of holding this. I want to go jo join the fight. What are they chanting? going to take a little bit of time and, and appreciate the scenery and aftermath. It's really a beautiful game. Somebody's cheering. They stopped. Where are they, where are they going? <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay, everyone's happy. We can all go home. I don't think that was a well-deserved victory. I mean, we super outnumbered them. All right. End battle. So what is this? The leftover troops? Maybe. Yeah. The archers only have five. Wow. We only lost 72. Oh, that must have been the... No? Oh, never mind. Coincidence. They have 72 people left, as do... Well, 75, 73. Anyways. So, I captured troops. Okay. Captured 97 troops. I can ransom and release for better income and plus 3 unity. See supplies? I honestly don't know, like, I don't know what I have, so I don't know what these numbers mean right now. Six replenishment, I don't really care about that, I think, at this point. Income sounds good. Let's go for that. <laughs> Liu Bei and his brothers face the Yellow Turban Scourge. Oh, right, that was the mission. We got the taste of victory, so plus military supplies, plus morale. Cool. To bring peace, Liu Bei marches to, to claim the Yellow Turban lands. Okay. Capture and occupy the following settlement. Dong, or Iron Mine. Reward, support from the people. Last three turns, plus five public order, plus 25 faction support. Not sure what that means exactly. Um, they're talking about this little place right here. Okay. Okay. Um, rank and station. We will grow stronger as warriors and as kin. Awesome. Bonus experience. Oh, I never really looked at his traits. Inspires troops. Weaker melee. I read that. Um, he has expertise, resolve, authority... Resilience, poor background, so negative 25% income from family estates. Plus four public order. Oh, right, that's the, um, those are the temporary re rewards we got. Commends honor, opposes cruelty. It's my kind of guy. Okay. Uh, I keep thinking, I keep trying to use middle mouse button to rotate and it ends up 
just moving the map around. Uh, Q and E? Yes. I thought there was another way. Oh, left click works too. Okay. What's this look like? Uh, iron Mine. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Enemy Miner Settlement. Oh, let me dismiss some of these. So, Ancillaries Gained. Tunic of Divination. Feather Fan. What are all these? Labor Recruiter? Are these like artifacts I can use later? Maybe? I don't know what he does. Craftsman. Okay. The Great Glaive. Cool. Alright. Establish my power. Oh, that's the, the main mission. Guess I'll close that. Yeah, got that one. Mission success, we know that. Character ranks gained. Zhang Fei has gained character rank. Because of their exemplary deeds of service. Awesome. Mission issued. That one again. Rank station. Yep, got that. Okay, we're all cleared up now. Um, what's that mean? This is building browser. Well, I'm guessing I don't need to care about that right now. Dong commandery. What? What am I looking at? I'm so confused. Okay. You don't own a county in this commandery. Well, obviously. Small city. It's an iron mine, which means... Maybe that's the county? Like, it's zooming to the county? It doesn't have, like, county names or anything, so I'm, I really don't know. But at any, at any rate, the iron mine is here, and that's what we're going for. I'm guessing that's the population? Huangshao? Is that who's living there? Yellow Turban Rebellion? Garrison. Yeah, okay, this is the garrison. 661 soldiers. We have light sword infantry, medium sword cavalry, and peasant archers. Well, that's a tougher army to deal with than what we just did, but I still don't see a problem with it. Um, is this who owns this county I guess it doesn't matter yet okay let's go ahead and do this then left click and move up okay siege of dong the iron mine what's this five turns until surrender zero turns until there's no supplies two barricades we could starve them out um, let them starve until, well, five, five more turns. I don't think that's the point of this, though. I think this is like an intro battle. Or we could stop sieging. Besieging, apparently. Hmm. Unable to replenish. Okay, so these are all the units that took a little bit of casualties. That's okay, though. Hmm. What's this little thing? Okay, let's go ahead and start the battle. This should be fun. My first siege. Huh. <laughs> 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 They may be true. <laughs> yeah, and this wine. You have my axe. Alright. Alrighty, what do we have here? To succeed during a siege assault. You need to get into the settlement and capture its administrative center. Okay. Okay. Now, I have heard some terrible things about these defense towers. 
I've heard they can seriously do some damage to armies. So, yikes. And this is covered by two. Mm. Can we, where, where can we deploy? Anywhere? Pretty much anywhere. I tell you what, I think it'd be safest to come in from this way since this way is going to have multiple towers. This only has one. I mean, two per icon. You know what I mean. There's less here, so let's take this path. All my army needs to... Yeah, we have to start kind of far, but we'll make our way through the forest. Should be fun. Same army, so I know what we have. What's this? Tactical... Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Alright, looks good, looks good. Hmm... I don't think there's anything we can do about these buildings, honestly. She said I have to go in and capture this? Okay. I have a feeling this, this won't be pretty. Alright, well here we go. Affect your general's performance in battle. Okay. And may even give them the edge they need over their enemies. Fun. Looks like they got some swordsmen up here. Lots of swordsmen. Well, a few. And some archers. Smart choice. A little bit more back here. But if we can push through here... Hmm. Where's the rest of their army? I thought they had like six units. Maybe they're out of line of sight? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, everyone. Let's, uh, let's... I don't want to run yet, so let's walk. Held control to do that, because I have default running. Oh, look at all my guys. Look at all these fellas. And we're already taking arrow casualties. Look at this. Okay, flags are in the way, but you get the point. It's a lot of people. There's gonna be some deaths. <laughs> you can say that in every single battle. I wonder if marching through the trees helps hurts the accuracy of the towers or other missile units at all. Alright, let me take this moment to gather my bearings about which general is where. Liu Bei is here. Guan Yu is... Oh, they're all in the back, of course, on their cavalry. Never mind. I know where they are. Yikes. They're already firing at them. That's awesome. So, cavalry-wise, these aren't high threat. Swords, sword infantry, I don't think, are a high threat, like a good defense against cavalry. Alright, let's see. Somebody's... Do we need to charge? We're, we're taking fire here. Somebody's charging. Alright, run. Go for it. Go, go, go. That's way too many bodies for my liking. Hmm. I hate choke points like this. Like, there's not much you can do other than just push through it and take the casualties. Oh, what a mess. Alright, uh, archers. Shoot at these guys instead? Wow, what a mess. 
I really hope some of those arrows don't randomly nick my generals and kill them, at least. What's the bar? What does that mean? They're taking... Is that the health of the entire unit? Yeah, I think so. If flashing means they're wavering, they may rout. Hmm. Well, not those archers can attack these guys again. Let's get a look, a view from the hillside. Okay, they are taking casualties, that's good. Where's the other unit of swordsmen? Oh, wavering. They're, they're routing, actually. Okay, select my melee. Uh, <laughs> listen to all that yelling. Nice. All right, everybody, um, attack these dudes. Huh. One of my saber cavalry only has 18 left out of. Out of what? 27? I guess it's not terrible. Look at him go! Generals are in the front now. Except Liu Bei just flew backwards. Oh, do we actually capture these? Uh, I wonder how that works. Just kind of like a battlefield situation. Stand near it and you get it eventually. Looks like the archers... Where are the, where are the routing units? Where'd they go? There's some over there. Uh, oh, they're far gone. Alright, you guys... Hmm. I tell you what. Um, you and you. Go get the capital. Or whatever you want to call it. You guys fire at these archers. Although, I don't think they're going to be able to squeeze through there to go get the capital, to be completely honest. Oh, look at all those incoming arrows. I, I almost, I'm hesitant to do that, because there's no way they can be that accurate. They're going to take friendly fire. Mm, what should I do here? Maybe stop firing at them? Let's see. Go fire at them instead. Hmm. Just a big mess. Tell you what. Uh, some of these dudes back here. Hmm. What are they doing? Be like, I th thought I told you guys. Yep, that way. Looks like they're retreating. Whoa, those arrows. That was beautiful. Look at this view. Perfect. So we didn't actually have to go capture the thing. Very nice. Okay, I'm a little worried to see how many casualties I took. Let's check it out. Mm. Oh, well, about time. Good timing, guys. Alright, in battle. So they have 154 left, I think? No. I'm not sure. Is that how many they killed, or is that how many left, and what is this number? Whatever. Oh, that was how many they killed. So... I, I honestly... Oh, hold on. Oh, that's how many units that entity killed. I see. 
Well, they are all completely gone because they had nowhere to run. Okay, what do we have? The siege is done. We lost quite a bit, to be honest. We'll have to replenish after a while. Okay, uh, what is all this? Faction support is zero, of course. 50k pop. No food. No public order. Well, I could occupy it. Minus 20% to the zero population. Or, hold on. 50k. 45 income, 10 faction support, etc. I could loot and occupy, or I can sack and withdraw. Uh, normally, I think occupy is the best option for me, right? Well, look at that income, though. I guess if you really needed some supplies, they'd hate you for it, but... Ooh, do I loot, though? Like, are these innocent civilians would I be hurting? Mm. Loot and occupy. No, I'm not a looter. Let's start off with just occupying it. Alright, completed. With this settlement's liberation, the people here are freed from oppression. It's a small start, but significant. All of China must know the same freedom. All right, with a rallying cry, Liu Bei draws more to his cause. Awesome. Recruit and maintain a total of 17 at the start of a new turn. Current total, 15. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, that is all I have time for for the first episode. Um, I don't know if this will get any views. Like, I'm not, a, you know, I have like 15 subscribers, 16, but... Uh, it may just because it's a new game and people search for it, but regardless, um, if you watched it through, throw a comment on there. Let me know, you know, what I could do better, if you liked it, like the style I have, general feedback. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching.